This is Cameron Chai here from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Tom Levesque today who's going to show us their new NLP 2000. Thank you Cameron. We're very excited to be here at Pitcon introducing two new instruments, one of which is the NLP 2000. NLP 2000 is a micro patterning tool. Uh, it's a tool that uses our technique of dip pen nanolithography uh, that we've pioneered and have in over 60 laboratories with our Inscriptor products. But it's a tool that allows a different audience of people to operate it. It's very, very simple to operate. Uh, there is no integrated atomic force microscope in this, so uh, even though it uses the same technology, it does it with a different uh, series of stages to move. Uh, down here, uh, we have uh, the staging. It is a five-axis nano-positioning stage. Uh, there are a series of micro-position, nano-positioners, uh, that allow you to move with resolution as small as five nanometers over a 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter area. That's a truly huge area for nanotechnology to operate into. Uh, as I said, we use the same tips and the same ink wells that allow us to deliver material uh, that is sub uh, 50 nanometers in its smallest form up through about 10 microns in its largest form, depending on the chemistry and the inks that are used. Uh, a high resolution camera system above that allows us to see features as small as about 300 nanometers. Uh, we've done resolution standards to, to qualify the system, so it is a very good camera system. Um, and in back of this is an environmental uh, chamber. This is, this, uh, is the uh, device that powers the, uh, um, the delivery of controlled temperature and humidity. Um, and that sits normally on the system, and we'll put this back on so that you can see forming uh, an environmental controlled area over that very large area. Um, substantial uh, mass to the system. It's very uh, impervious to vibration. Uh, again, very, very simple. Not very many controls for an operator to use. The user interface here, also keeping with the, the simplicity, allows the user to interact with only a few buttons to control the stage positions and the optics. And you're now looking at the uh, microfluidics delivery system. These are the individual cantilevers and tips here at the bottom. You can see that there are uh, six different uh, materials being presented to these six tips. The tips would be dipped into the ink wells, into the micro wells here. The operator would simply pipette manually onto the device, uh, the, the different materials. And now uh, John will change the view and we'll actually see the device printing these, uh, these, these tips that have been previously inked. They're actually making uh, small deposits here. These are probably about three micron size features that we're printing. Uh, each one of those tips, again, printing a different material uh, in an array of dots. So uh, the concept of simplicity, uh, the concept of uh, uh, cl cleanliness and sterility here in terms of the environmental chamber. Uh, it's really a, a product that, that allows a whole generation of new, uh, primarily biological nanotechnologists to experiment with, uh, with materials in the uh, submicron range. Okay, and you've got a, a multi-axis stage you were telling us about that can tilt and as well? True, we, we can follow the contours of surfaces here because we have five axes of stage, that's an X, a Y, a Z, uh, and two cradles for tip and tilt in two dimensions, which allows us to program the stage, find planes and positions, and return to any one of those positions, uh, again with that uh, roughly five nanometer uh, accuracy. So we can really even construct things in three dimension with this system. And so that's able to deal with non-flat surfaces and substrates fairly easily? Yes, uh, you could even theoretically pattern over a cell surface with this, over some number of microns as well. All right, Tom, well, very exciting to hear about your, one of your latest devices, and, uh, and hopefully we'll hear about your other one shortly as well. Thank you, Cameron.